Okay, guys, that was my my splash screen. My phone just got done installing the new the new theme, my Mad Scientist theme. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you. This is all extra. You don't need to look at it. You got the uh, unlocking and the installing the new ROM. This is just going to show you how to install Sensor Lock, which is a new is an interesting program. You'll love. I love it. Um, and also how to um, uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, I wanted to show off my theme. <laughs> show off my new theme by uh, the Mad Scientist theme. Yeah, I'm going to show off the Mad Scientist theme and then show you how to uh, install Sensor Lock. This is all extra. All right, let's see the opening of my new theme. Uh, any theme is going to have a background when it starts up, which you probably got to pick out. This one's got quite a few that come with it, and. Uh, they're all really nice. It's even got a Batman, and uh, it's even got a Batman and um, the new Batman Joker Dark Knight one that comes on it. It's pretty sweet. Um, the program I'm talking to you about is going to be Sensor Lock. Um, if you go over there to the to the top right and to the more info, you'll see it's uh, link number six. It's by Surf Smurf. It's a sensor lock program on SourceForge.net. That's a direct link to the to the download page. Um, you can get the uh, the install file or the cap file, I think there. And uh, I yeah, obviously it's easier to do the cap file, in my opinion. Selling anything off the phone is better. Um, that's that's always my opinion. Okay, um, now my phone's up. You're gonna see it just got them booted up. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in. Because uh, if you remember correctly, we went and we deactivated the touch flow screen the last time we were using it. So we're going to go up into start. I'm going to go to settings. And I'm going to go to click to today. Go to items. And now activate your touch flow 3D screen. There you go. Go back to OK. Exit out of here. It'll take you back to the main screen. You'll see it's launching touch flow 3D. You got your new theme starting up. This is remember. This is my Mad Scientist theme. You're gonna love this thing. It's got the nice, sexy flip, uh, flip, uh, flip clock. Ooh. Ooh, let's see here. Now go all the way down to communications. I think uh, maybe maybe it's uh, settings. All right, go to settings. Click on wallpaper. That's what you want to do. Click on wallpaper. There's a folder from this one. This has got a folder. And then this 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 theme. Came with a whole bunch of backgrounds. I like all of them. Uh, personally, I choose this one. The the little the moon on the horizon looks sexy as hell. Look at that. All right, let's see if we can get a good, unmessed up, blurry view of my phone here. This is what it looks like. It's nice and responsive with this new theme. Even though it's got a lot to it, it looks sexy. And with this new Mighty ROM, man, it's fast. I love it how it runs. After it's been running for a little bit, and you have you have everything open, man, it's just. It quickly jumps from one thing to the next. I, I love this ROM. All right, now we're going to install Sensor Lock. That's my new sexy ROM, the new flip clock. It looks sweet with the new background, all the cool new icons. It's got a nice good. This mine comes in black and white like this, and I like it because the black and white themes are good for conserving battery life, in my opinion. There's a lot less colors being used. Okay, we're going to take this. We're going to plug the phone back in again, and I'm going to come over to the computer. And we're going to open up the Windows Mobile Device Center. I'm going to do this every time. Make sure my phone gets connected. See, it says connecting in the bottom. It's searching. And uh, there it goes. Da, 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 da. Let's wait for it to connect. You can also, if you're, if you're, it's probably easier, but. You can connect. You can connect your phone as disk device, and I think it's easier. But I'm doing it this way. You for doing installing all the ROMs and everything, all your ROMs and everything like that. You always want to use Mobile Sync. Always use Mobile Sync. But for just copying over files, I think installing the phone, connecting it as disk device, and just copying over direct is easier. Um, but I'm going to keep you going through the Sync Center, the Windows Mobile Device Center, because it's what we've been using this whole time. All right, I'm going to click Browse the Contents of Your File, go to Internal Storage again, and just copy it to the main directory. We're going to get to the, you get to download your sensor lock. 
is then I'm going to copy, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to paste it into this directory. I've already got it there, but so I'll just overwrite it. No big deal. All right, now I'm going to exit out, close this, disconnect my phone, and uh, we're going to go up here to start, and we're going to go to Programs. We're going to go to File Explorer, and then I'm going to go down to Sensor Lock. You see it? 0 0.4. And then we're going to double click that. Oh, there you go. Don't even need to double click it. Click install internal storage. And click install at the bottom. It should be a quick install. Shouldn't take too long. There it goes. All right, so Central Lock will now be enabled. It says, it, do you want to reset, soft reset your device now? No, I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to wait. But that's just to get to the panel to set the Central Lock settings. Uh, the program's already activated. It's enabled. It works right now. But I'm not worried about going to the control panel. If you got anything you want to change, you can do that on your own. All right, now my phone's got sensor lock on it. What this does is this simple. My phone works, but if I, I use the Bluetooth, and when I put my phone in my pocket, it's always hitting buttons on the screen. Yeah, everybody has that problem with touch screens and PDAs. All you got to do is flip my phone over once. I feel it vibrate. Nothing works now. All the screens shut off, the buttons, everything. It's all deactivated. I flip it over twice. Bam, now it works. Everything works. It's a very nice... Very nice sensor lock. It's one of the coolest I've used. It's the most handiest, and it's not going to be the one that's going to be accidentally reactivated. There's some with slide slide buttons, like on the uh, i the iTouch, you know, or the uh, i um, iPhone stuff like that. But I like this one. You just flip it, and it works. Flip back, it's unlocked. You feel it vibrate twice real quick. Flip it this way, and it vibrates once. Flip it this way, and it vibrates twice. It's uh, it's unlocked now. It's a very neat sensor lock program. I love it. Um, it's a good responsive, and it's a lot of fun. It's neat, and it's cool to show off. All right, that's it, guys. It's my last video. Um, I hope I helped you guys out a lot. I hope these videos gave you something to work with, better grounds than what I had. When I was looking to try to do this to my phone, I had no sources at all. I couldn't find any videos, no walkthroughs, no tutorials, no one to tell me that I was going to brick my phone, what was not going to brick my phone. Um, I hope the links that I provided to you over there in the top right uh, under more info, help you out a lot. Uh, read a lot. Make sure that your phone, whatever you're doing, this. remember this, you could do this to the Pro too, but follow the links. Um, you could do this to the HTC Pro and the GSM versions. GSM versions have got good links. Uh, Swift Blade is a good ROM for a GSM phone. Um, CDMA, in my opinion, Mighty ROM is the best. And um, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I missed. I'm giving props to everybody, and uh, make sure that um, that when you do this, that you don't break your phone. <laughs> That's just be careful, read a lot, make sure that you got the info you need. I hope this helped you with the walkthrough. Uh, if you guys like the videos, leave a comment. Uh, let me know if you appreciate it or not. Uh, I hope I helped some people out because I was really SOL when I was trying to figure out how to do this to my phone. Uh, there you guys go. It was a damn near an hour walkthrough. 40 minutes and four videos. Uh, I hope I helped you guys out once again, 10 times over. Peace out!